how was school today? Okay, Sally dared Jimmy to eat a real worm, and he did. Then he started laughing, and it came out his nose. But he had stuff come out his nose all the time, especially at lunch. You know, speaking of worms, I got a package in the mail today. Does Grandpa know? Yep. And he's expecting you to come by. Now, how many of you know how to recycle aluminum cans? Very good. How many of you know how to recycle paper or plastic materials? Great. Now, how many of you know how to recycle your waste or other organic materials, such as a banana peel? Well, what do you do with your trash when you're done with it? I don't know, throw it in the trash. Great. And where do you think that goes after he throws it in the trash? Hmm, I don't know. The dump? She's right. Over 50% of the landfills hold organic material. Now who here remembers what organic means? Yes, Lucy? Organic means that it is something that is or was once a living thing. Very good. That was perfect. Of course. So when we recycle cans, glass, plastic, for instance, let's take your water bottle that you, you had at lunch, okay? Here's your water bottle. Now we all recycle, we put it in the recycle bin here, and someone transports that to a plant where they melt it down and they reuse it. After that, they take the recycled plastic and voila bing, we got a brand new bottle just for you. All right, so the process is actually a lot more complicated than this, but this just gives you the basic idea. Now, when God designed nature, he did a little bit better. He actually made microbes and macrobes, worms, that help decompose uh, organic material. Now, we all know that we have organic waste. These little worms that comes up and eats it, and then it digests it. And as it's digesting it, it changes through the body and actually creates a rich soil amendment called worm castings. And that helps the plants to grow. Now, this is a Vermi Pro compost unit. Let's take a look at this. Is this huge? Hmm? Does it smell? Hmm. Are there any flies? All right, so what happens when we put organic waste in the trash can? What's buzzing around everywhere. Flies! Yes! And does it smell bad? Yes! Yes, it does smell bad. Now, that's why we use tools like this to recycle things the right way so it does, things like that don't happen. How do the worms get air with the lid on? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see these holes right here? Well, that allows the oxygen to get inside, but it actually keeps all the pests and all the rain out. Why do you think that's important? The worms need air to live. Exactly. That brings me to my point why landfills are a problem because we bury the waste and it has no way of getting any oxygen so it actually creates a really dangerous gas called methane. Now on the other hand, we've got our little worm friends over there that are awesome because they actually naturally create and help produce better fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Now for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be talking about all kinds of soils and how it has to do with the life cycle. I wanted to show you Vermi Pro Unit because I wanna give you guys the opportunity to purchase one. And if you do, you take it home and you're gonna recycle it the right way. Now all the money that we raise is gonna go right back to our school. What do you think about that? Oh, I see that. Uh, I got mine too. You got another one? Yeah. 
Yeah, Grandma wanted one in the kitchen, so uh, we got another one, and I put it together. Place the worm tea filter on the base. Place the worm tea catch under the drain. Pour the bedding and worms into the tray. Place the worm blanket on top and put the food under the blanket. Grandpa, look, I did it. That's great. Can we use your own one to take care of the garden? Sure, this one here, you know, it gets about three quarters of the way full on the top end. You need to add another tray on top of it. And I did that about three weeks ago. So most of the worms should be up in the top two trays and the bottom tray is about ready to go to the garden. Actually, they both have about the same value for the plants. Did you do this when you were a kid like me? I sure did. We had two big piles in our backyard, and we would throw our food waste in there, and then during the springtime, we'd go in there and get the material out and put it in the area where we're going to be planting our gardens. When am I going to see you next? In about three days. Okay. We need to feed the worms two times a week, right? Uh, at least two times a week, but we have to be careful on how much we feed the worms. Well, give me a hug. Oh, I'll see you later. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. Enricos is an environmental organization that basically focuses on waste resources under management. We try to mimic what nature does here naturally so that we can sustain an environment that's healthy for everybody. We try to accomplish this by putting workshops together for cities to teach their residents how to recycle their organic material and not only recycle it at their house, but also use the product back in their yards, or their gardens, in their backyard. We also have programs for schools to teach our kids, because they're our future, on how to do this recycling adventure for organics. Often they've been taught how to recycle their paper, their plastic, their aluminum, and their cardboard, but very infrequently have they been taught how to recycle their food waste, or their junk mail, or the organics that are there. And thirdly, we go to corporations and help them deal with their food waste that they may have to get rid of. And managing it, or converting it from that waste to an actual resource. And we thank you for taking this time with us today. And we thank you for taking this time with us today.